Buying a car is a big deal. You're putting out a lot of money, and you want to make sure that you are getting your money's worth. But more and more car sellers in Albuquerque are scamming buyers. Tonight, Larry Barker exposes the auto outlaws in an undercover hidden camera investigation. They're out there, and they are waiting to get you. They are waiting to bite you, take your money, and leave. It's a crime. Nobody wants to get snookered on a car deal. Beware the flim flam man. You might as well go to the casino and put your money on black. <laughs> take a look around. They're everywhere. Use car lots. No, not these. This, and this, and this. Welcome to the friendly folks at No Name Auto Sales. There's Caesar. I have the best price for you. There's Adele, Ahmad, Luis, and Francisco. Just call him Pato. They're used car salesmen operating from a corner parking lot in southeast Albuquerque. Do you know uh, what the asking price is on this one? This three thousand eight hundred. Three eight. Yeah. How about a '95 Camry or a '99 Mitsubishi? These guys will fix you right up. I'm sure this car it is good for me. Uh, you can stick to any shop. But hold on. There's something wrong with this picture. Now, it may look like a used car lot, but there's no signs, no office, no license, no phone, no address, not even a Coke machine. They're called curb stoners, car lot gypsies, auto outlaws, fly by night peddlers hawking questionable merchandise from parking lots and street corners. Charles Henson is with the New Mexico Auto Dealers Association. I think the biggest problem with buying off of street corners is that the public has no way of knowing the source, the person that is selling it to them, and they have no real way of knowing the history of the car. For example, when a car that's been in a flood, well, many vehicles destroyed in floods and hurricanes often show up on street corners at bargain basement prices. Buy a flooded out car and you're just asking for trouble. A flood damaged vehicle will always have problems. Not maybe, it will have problems. And it's gonna cost a lot of money to fix if it could be fixed at all. This Dodge truck sits at the corner of Yale and Cesar Chavez in Albuquerque. Records show after an accident, an insurance company declared the truck a total loss and sold it as salvage. Two months later, it shows up here at this unlicensed car lot for $3,800. The salesman probably just forgot to mention this truck is a piece of junk. APD auto theft detective Matt Morales. Next thing you know, the car has a bunch of trouble lights coming on. You find out it's a flood car found out that it was a hurricane car, found out that it was a VIN switch stolen. You can't get it serviced, you can't get anything done to it, then you find out it's a stolen car, then you're out your cash again. And if you inadvertently get duped into buying a stolen car and the police find out, the vehicle will be seized and returned to its rightful owner. What's usually the consumer's reaction? Instant tears. Instant tears, crying, oh my gosh, what just happened? Where's my money? Is this really happening? They just don't understand that they unknowingly bought a stolen car. And then it breaks our heart because we now have to take it from this innocent consumer. The owner of this Toyota knows firsthand. He bought the Camry from a private seller. Two years later, detectives knocked on his door. I'm Sergeant Heckroth. I'm with the auto theft unit. Can I talk to you about the car you have in the driveway? Sure. Okay. Uh, this might be a shocker to you, okay? Um, this car was reported stolen September 15th of 2005. The vehicle was seized and hauled away just like that. An unscrupulous person selling many vehicles or any vehicle on a street corner that is either stolen, flood damaged, or has prior wreck damage, uh, they're there to scam you. They are there to take advantage of you. They're not going to give you the history of the car and you will not be able to find them when something goes wrong. Besides that, it's illegal. That's against state law. There's a state statute on the book prohibiting curb stoning of cars on the side of the road. You can sell up to four vehicles a year as a private party sale. When you reach the fifth one, you have to become a licensed dealer. You have to obtain a bond, you have to obtain a license from the state of New Mexico, and you have to follow the requirements of a car dealer at that point. How about those guys at No Name Auto Sales? Eight cars on the lot, no license. I see a lot of them have been banged up a little bit. Uh, the, the photo for the car, I checked the engine. 
Yeah. If the engine is good and all is doing good, that's good. Just body, you know, body, you know, we can fix it. Maybe you do want to change the car. These outlaw auto sellers have been openly defying the law for weeks. You oh. are Ahmad? Ahmad? Yeah. You are Caesar. Caesar. Hi. Larry Barker, Channel 13. Guys, I, I'm just I'm curious about this this car lot you guys have here. Yeah. Um, do you guys have a license to sell cars? Uh, no. That's a problem, isn't it? I'm not. I'm not the owner of the cars. I'm just helping my friend to to sell his cars. Where did all these cars come from? We bought it from a, from a, from the auction, I think, or from a guy. I don't know. You're taking advantage of the people that live in our good city, and we're not going to put up with it. Mayor R.J. Berry has ordered a crackdown on outlaw auto sellers. Live within the law and do the right thing. And if they don't, Mayor? Then you've got a problem with the city of Albuquerque. If somebody is breaking the law by illegally selling used cars from street corners, what do they risk from you? Well, first off, we'll be towing their car. They'll be heading off to the impound yard. And then from there, they'll have to prove ownership of that car. Work through a licensed dealer. Should something go wrong, they are required by law to do certain things to help you recover any damage you may have incurred. On a street corner, you probably will end up with a street corner. Perhaps you brought your car there today, uh, tomorrow, it may just be firewood and pinon nuts. Today, at the corner of Yale and Cesar Chavez, you won't find pinon nuts or auto outlaws. The property owner has put these guys out of business. Larry Barker. KRQE News 13.